Does your Windows 11 computer feel like it's moving slower than you do on a Monday morning? Apps taking forever to open, startup feels sluggish, and everything just feels off? Well, here's the good news. Most slow Windows 11 computers do not need hardware upgrades to be fast again. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make Windows 11 faster in just a few minutes using tools that are already built into Windows. And I'll show you exactly what it looks like on screen. This is straight from our My Computer Works playbook, and we use these same steps and tips and tricks to speed up real customers' computers all the time. Let's get into it. Now, a lot of people ask, is Windows 11 actually slower than Windows 10? And most of the time, the answer is no. But Windows 11 does make it easier for problems to pile up. For example, there's a lot of additional background apps running that you didn't ask for. Too many programs starting when Windows boots up or when you know you have startup. And then older broken drivers can cause major issues. And then of course, like I talked about this whole time, kind of blotware, a lot of blotware, um, which is essentially things running on the computer that just slow it down that don't really need to be there. Windows 11 ships with a lot of stuff most people never use. And those apps quickly eat up memory, CPU, and storage in the background. So before we delete anything, let's find out what's actually slowing down your computer. A great place to start is in the task manager. The task manager gives us a lot of information regarding what's actually using the CPU, memory, disk activity, things like that. That's all shown inside of the task manager. So we're gonna hit control, shift, and escape, or you can right click on your start menu and choose task manager, okay? Now, if there's anything in here that is consistently high while you're doing nothing, that's a red flag, okay? So you can sort these by clicking on you know each one that you wanna see, CPU usage, the RAM, memory, disk activity, click on each one, see what's using the majority of it, okay? Now let's stop some of that overload. Uh, overload. So if there's a lot of things in there um, that you're not using at the moment, these could be uh, you know, closed out. So if you wanna go check, maybe down at the bottom right, hit your little hidden icons arrow to see what's open. Down in the bottom right of your computer, it's like a little V, upside down V. Click on that, that'll show you a bunch of the stuff that's being used that you probably didn't know was running. You can right click on them and quit them out. Um, some of them you could in task from the task manager for certain ones, that's safe to do or we can go into our startups, which is huge. Now startups in here shows everything that's starting when our computer boots up, okay? So it's important to review this list and check to see if there are things that we do not need starting up when our computer starts up, maybe we don't use. We can wait until we go open those. Those are gonna be huge. It's going to be things like Microsoft Teams in here, game launchers, updaters, OEM utilities, things like that that we might not have realized we're starting when our computer was coming up. So we can right click on these and disable or click on them and choose disable. This is gonna cut our startup time in half. I mean, it's gonna be way faster, maybe even more than half. Reduce background CPU usage and make Windows feel instantly more responsive and your computer's gonna feel faster just by doing these two things, okay? So identifying your biggest usage and then going into your startups and adjusting that so that it is not just I call it waking up and having a weight in your hand, right? That's what the computer is doing. It wakes up and it's got this heavy workload. Uh, we wouldn't like that if somebody woke us up by dropping a weight on us. Same thing with your computer. It does not respond well always to having a massive workload that it has to take care of right as it boots up, okay? So check those startup apps and disable as many as you can. Now for the next one, this one is related to storage and temporary files. If we go to settings, you can right click on your start uh, menu again go to settings, go to system, and go to storage. We wanna turn on storage sense. Now, what does this do? It deletes temporary files, clears old update leftovers, and frees up space automatically on our computer. Windows update junk alone can slow systems down over time and build up. This step helps your PC stay fast without you thinking about it at all, okay? It does it for you. So this is a great one to turn on in order to free up temp file space and just keep your PC faster. Now, if your computer got really slow and sluggish and doing weird things out of nowhere, this could be malware. So it is important to go into your Windows security. You could run a Windows Defender scan. You could download malware bytes and run a scan that way. Uh, you'd be surprised. Sometimes it's just adware or pups or browser hijackers, crypto miners, things like that, that are just got installed on the system and are slowing you down or causing those issues. 
So don't overlook scanning for malware. You could definitely identify issues that way and then remove them. A lot of times it has a built-in quarantine or delete, or now at least you know where to go check for these things. You could go check your file explorer, clear it out, uninstall those unwanted programs and apps, and that'll be an instant speed up as well. All right, now let's talk about the big one, uh, bloatware, which is basically apps. Windows 11 comes with a bunch of apps like Teams, Xbox apps, Clipchamp, Spotify, TikTok, OEM utilities from your manufacturer as well are gonna be there from Dell, HP, Lenovo. They all have like a bunch of things that they have pre-installed on there that run in the background. Uh, they auto update themselves a lot of the time and they use memory even when closed out. So if you don't need them, just uninstall them. Go through the list, open up your control panel. You could do Windows key and R, open up your control panel with control, just type control in and click okay. Go to your application list review that and see if there's a bunch of pre-installed windows or again your manufacturer like hp dell a whole bunch of stuff might be in there that you don't need you don't use if you're not sure you could always google or do a search for you know what what is it what is what is it that you're about to remove don't remove things that you're not sure what they are uh, so just go online look it up and then you could uninstall those if it's safe to do so and you don't need them that's gonna speed up your computer instantly as well okay on this note, I know that there are programs out there um, that offer like a PowerShell uh, debloat script, which is um, not recommended, okay? Sometimes they work, but they can also break your Windows 11 operating system and if things go wrong and you'll just have to end up re-OSing and all that stuff's gonna come back. So sometimes it's better to just go in there, find them and remove them manually. Uh, and then again, instant speed up to your computer and you will feel the results, okay? If you disable the startup apps like we've talked about, you remove these unwanted apps that come pre-installed, the OEM stuff and the Windows stuff, clean up the storage, turn on storage sense, and then check for malware from time to time to make sure something didn't make its way on, that's slowing your computer down. You will feel the difference, it will start faster, run smoother, and you will feel a noticeable, uh, you know, it's gonna be more responsive, you're gonna feel a noticeable difference. And this is all without new hardware, which is the best part, okay? Uh, if your PC still feels slow after that, sometimes the next stop, uh, next step would be hardware. If it is still slow after doing all this, um, you could move, like if you have a hard drive, get an SSD in there, more RAM, things like that, okay? Of course, RAM is really expensive right now, so that's not gonna be a fun upgrade, but sometimes it is what it is. It's got what you gotta do. If you're having trouble with this, if you don't wanna deal with um, anything we talked about in this video, if you don't wanna go into the settings and change all these things and, and make, make these changes or clean it out, or you want a deeper, bigger clean, we do a more advanced clean here at My Computer Works, reach out to us, okay? The number is always at the beginning, into the video, down in the description. We'd be happy to help you out. And while you're down there, please hit that like and subscribe so I can see you on the next video.